So today is brought to you by the letter E. And E stands for exemptions. Another letter in our alphabet soup series in the ABCs of bankruptcy. Hi, my name is Theta Page. I'm with the Page Law Firm in Frisco, Texas, and I'm the Reconstructionist. I help people who are going through difficult situations reconstruct their lives. Sometimes that's through the filing of a bankruptcy and getting rid of debilitating debt. So usually when you want to stop your creditors from harassing you or stop a foreclosure or stop a garnishment, you are also wanting to be sure that you can keep your stuff because our stuff is important to us. So how do you do that when you file bankruptcy? Do you lose everything? The answer is no, you don't lose everything because the letter E, exemptions. Exemptions are what is used in the bankruptcy process to protect your assets. And in Texas, we have two choices. We can use Texas state exemptions or we can use federal exemptions. And it really depends on the types of assets that you have. Are your retirement accounts, your 401ks, your 403bs, your teacher retirement, are those assets protected? Absolutely. Whether you use state exemptions or federal exemptions. The Texas state exemptions are some of the most generous in the country because they allow you to keep your home, the homestead, and that is um, regardless of the amount of equity you have in your home. So you could actually have a paid for home and that is a protected asset in bankruptcy using Texas state exemptions. You can also protect one car per licensed driver in the household or one vehicle. Some people have trucks, but one vehicle per licensed driver in the household. And the Texas property code doesn't say what kind of vehicle that is. So if you've got a Maserati or a Tesla or Kia or Hyundai or a Honda or Ford or Chevy, your Ford F-150, all of those are protected assets. Now, what you can't protect in Texas is cash and the federal exemptions do allow you to protect cash. That's why it's important to work with a bankruptcy lawyer to um, look at what it, what's your total asset picture and make a, let the lawyer make a determination and a recommendation to you in terms of which exemptions are best for you. If this information has been helpful to you, please um, do us a favor, like this video. Leave us a question or a comment if you have questions and maybe you wanna share it with a friend. And certainly we ask that you subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can get notified. And we're gonna continue on with our series, The ABCs of Bankruptcy. If you'd like to talk to us about your particular situation, please reach out. We can be found on the internet at www.page lawfirm.com or you can give us a call at 214-618-2101. Would love to chat with you about the letter E and how that's important to you. Take care, have a great day, and we will see you next time when we continue on with the ABCs of bankruptcy.